Right Retro, Retro Gaming. 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 Wednesdays, 9 GMT. Hello, this is for the A1208 users. The Kipper 2K TF328 altered board that goes in the 1200. My plans for this video is to show people what I've done um, with regards to backing the drivers up um, and also putting the drivers in. To begin with, you're going to have to install Roadshow. I'm only using the demo because I don't really use the Amiga that much. Um, so install Roadshow. Once it's installed, um, what you're going to have to do, I'll make these files available. So if you look at the description in the video down below, uh, you can get these files and alter them. It saves you writing out the whole thing. So what I've done is I've made this drawer and backed it up. So I've backed up all the drivers as they would be on the system. I'll just show you quick. So this would be after everything's written and put into devs. So if I go into devs, see the drawers are exactly how they would be in the main system. So this is my backup, this is the main system. So you'll have three lots of drawers. Let's just show all files. So you'll have internet, net interfaces and networks. Internet, I didn't need to alter many of these. Literally name resolution and routes. I'll show you what they look like. Um, that's what I've typed in. That's all you need to type in. Um, thanks to Ingolmon off of EAB that helped me with this because I'd be lost otherwise. I mean, I'm pretty good at IP addressing and networking, but when it comes to <laughs> server requests and stuff like that, he's a software guy. So massive thanks to Ingolmon. So what you do is after Roadshow make, makes this directory, you would just copy that over. And the same with roots. This is your. This will be your gateway on your router. So that would change. Or it could be 192.168.1.1 or whatever your router is. So find the gateway, and that's what it will be. This is. I'm trying to make this as easy for you guys as possible because it was a nightmare for me. Now this won't change either because this is the A1208. Um, net interface and again that only goes in there so if I run multi view let's just show you what's in that This is basically this is a text file showing um, what your device needs to run. So your main device is SPI net dot device. Again, there's certain things here like SPI net device, and there's another one um, SPI SD dot device. I'll get to in a minute. They're the main things along with SD zero for the uh, devs DOS drivers mounters for the SD card. I'll do that in a second, but for now, they're found in the uh, Mike Sterling website, and I'll post that address below as well. So everything you need will be on this video. I know it's difficult, <laughs> it's, uh, but I'm trying, to ch I'm trying to save you guys the hassle that aren't, you know, aren't normally... I mean, I'm quite good at computing and that but this was quite unuser friendly for me right uh, now the last one networks again all you're doing there's nothing to change here apart from copying spi net device from that backup file i'll post below again into here this that's for your main card on the a1208 
1208, the Ethernet device. I'm not sure about the Wi-Fi device, but I think that runs on the same thing. So, yeah, just do the same. Now, the let's just go to the SD part now. So, my SD card's here. This is a 4 gigabyte SD card. I've got nothing on it. And that's sitting on the A1208 SD PCB. Okay, pressing on the SD side of the A1208. This is my 4 gigabyte SD card. I've got nothing in it. I've formatted it. Um, the only thing you'll notice with this is it won't refresh. If you put it in, it won't appear. You'll have to reboot. Uh, and if you make any drastic changes on the PC and put it back in, it won't change. You'll have to reboot and then you'll find the files in there. So if you're wondering where things are and it's not refreshing, it's not a fault. It's just the way it works. Um, the one thing you will have to install will be FAT95 and that comes from Aminet. And there you go. All you do is you just click that and it'll, it, it'll install it. Now it's slightly different with uh, the SD card because SPI SD goes here. And SD0 gets chucked in there and is mounted on auto start. And there it is. So in your startup se sequence, there'll be a line. Let's show you that. That will actually mount anything in that in your DOS drivers directory. And there it is. C mount nil devs DOS drivers. So all you do is you drop your SD0 into that folder and this line will mount it on boot. So if you haven't got that line in, put it in there. But I'm sure you have because Amiga OS uh, Workbench 3.0 upwards has got that included. That should get you going. If not, drop some comments below and I'll get the relevant people to help you out. It's not a problem. Just give you a quick demo. Everything I'm using is demo, so eyebrows and roadshow. Uh, as I don't really use the Amiga, I just like it's a mini hobby, and I might uh, invest in this later. But see what happens. I'll speed this bit up. And there you go. There you go, I'm on IRC. All good. So I hope you found this video interesting. I'm hoping it helps you guys out that have got an A1208 because it was an absolute nightmare for me. Um, I will include some pictures of the voltage mod that I've done. We found that the 3.3 volt supply from the SDE to the Ethernet card wasn't enough. And it just didn't work. So what we had to do in the end is buy a 5 volt to 3.3 volt drop regulator from eBay they're literally about a pound um, and I epoxied it onto the back of the board and then wired it directly into the headers 
and then soldered the whole thing in with ribbon cable direct to both boards. Again, if you need any help, guys, comment below and I'm sure we can sort you out. Thanks a lot. Bye.